Hey kiteboarders out there, this is Ed Holden at Force Kite and Wake here in Charleston, South Carolina. Today I'm talking about the WOW, right? We've got the 2016 and 2017. Everybody's like, ooh, I want the 2017. I'm here to tell you the 2016 is just as good as the 2017. The only thing you're getting that's different is this nice backpack they've put together for you so you don't have the shoulder strap and they've changed the colors. And here at Force, we're getting a whole shipment into these backpacks for our clients who ordered the 2016 kites. So you're still getting the same hookup, so don't be afraid to get the 2016 WOW. Now who likes the WOW? Originally everybody said, oh, this is a wave kite, it's a wave specific kite, but it's not. It does it all. On our very first demo here, people went out on this kite and it was like, wow, this thing jumps super high, wow, this thing goes up wind really well. All the things we want in a kite. Uh, it even unhooks pretty well. Uh, some drawbacks on it, when you get into the smaller sizes, for me, it does tend to pivot even with the front bridle adjustment where you can slow it down to set it on a more freestyle or unhook setting. This kite is designed to pivot and not yank so much on the loop, and for my style of riding, I kind of miss that. On the 12, I don't notice it at all. 12 is my favorite size in the wow. Again, solid construction, three strut, Relaunch is amazing on this kite. Uh, D-Power, amazing on this kite. The narrow leading edge really, really provides that upwind ability and that boost, that loft in the jump. Uh, again, remember you need to pump this kite up to almost 10 PSI. So if your pump gauge only goes to 8, don't be afraid guys. Put your back into it. Pump this thing up rock solid. Your pump will do the job, okay? So go out there, get your hands on the wow. Take it for a spin, and I know you're going to want one. So guys, next time we see you here in Charleston, come out on the water and ride with force.